how the devil are you? Well, just when you thought I'd dropped off the face of the earth, I'm back to disappoint all the safety sissies. But who knows, maybe I could have a terrible accident and keep them all happy. Let's see what happens. I've been playing around a bit with uh, what I'm calling the Mini Melter. It's a 60 litre drum, uh, in American terms that's, let's see, uh, 60 litres. And uh, I've made a little mini uh, scrapping furnace out of that. I've also turned it into a uh, regular type and I can uh, put that little crucible that I've made up out of a piece of pipe and plate in it and use that in the, uh, the normal way. I've surrounded the uh, little uh, drum with some bricks basically to uh, keep it heat shielded. These things uh, throw out a lot of radiant heat and this way it just stops me and everything else around it getting scorched. The piece of uh, metal there at the front I might put over the top it might keep a little bit more of the heat in and this thing is just going to be fired up with the little jumping castle blower and the oil dripped in as per usual. As you can see this uh, little scrapping furnace works on the same old principle it's just the oil gets blown in by the airflow and it's just a bit of metal protruding into the drum. I'll, uh, I'll show you how easy this thing can be to fire up. It seems a lot of people uh, are under the impression that uh, what they call these drip burners can be difficult but um, I don't find that to be the case at all. Let's see how we go. Now the uh, keen-eyed and observant amongst you may uh, see that I'm using the very high-tech method of getting this thing started, of rolling up some newspaper and chucking it in. Uh, years of, of, of practice and skill involved in this, folks. Uh, don't try it at home unless you're a trained um, professional. I'll get some uh, oil and drizzle it over the paper as well, uh, just to keep it burning that bit longer and we'll uh, do our light up from there. Now I'm going to add in exactly one, uh, about this much of a, uh, an Australian uh, plastic cup of oil. Uh, just drizzle that round the, um, the paper a bit. Please be precise with your measurements because, you know, if you, uh, if you don't put in the exact right amount, well then, you know, who knows what could happen. It probably won't work because, you know, measurements and plans are everything after all. So then uh, we'll just light it up. I've put the crucible in the, uh, the furnace. I've started the, um, the blower running. So now I've just got to see if I can light this bloody bit of paper and then we'll be off and running. Ah, the magic of live YouTube videos recorded earlier. Okay, so we're in and running. I've got the, um, the inlet on the blower uh, blocked off a bit. So what I'll do is open that up, get a bit more um, air going in there and see how it runs. Just a little oil through the uh, through the normal feed, and um, 
that'll uh, help the paper sustain a bit and should just seamlessly take off from there. that and as you can see it's uh, pretty good but I can give it a little bit more. the great beauties of using these uh, waste oil burners is they obviously don't cost you anything to run and there's power unlimited. I'm just running the air through about an inch and a half inlet there and as you can see there's more than enough heat. This is precisely what you need if you're kind of the impatient sort and always in a hurry like me. Oil burning power! morally offensive as I normally find safety tips, here's a real one. If you're going to pour molten aluminium into anything, make sure it has no moisture, absolutely none. If it has, it can cause a steam explosion and that will really give you a bad day. One way of doing it is just heating it up like this, I'll turn it round a bit more and driving off all the moisture. Once you know it's properly dry, then you can pour the aluminium into it without having to go on like a safety sissy. Once you've got your aluminium all melted and nice and hot, you can uh, lift it out of the furnace and then uh, pour it into whatever you're going to cast. I'm just going to put it into that square tray I showed you earlier. I notice it's got a lot of pinholes, so we'll see if it holds up or not and um, see how we go from there.
I've got my uh, specialized crucible lifting tools at the ready, so let's pull it out. Yep, that looks nice and uh, melted to me. Now there's a fair bit of dross on the top, but I'm probably not going to worry about that just yet. Okay, so let's uh, pour it out and see how we go. Now, there is still a lot of dross in there, so what I'll try and do is just tip this up and uh, knock it out a bit. And pretty much clean. A bit still in there, but nothing to worry about. Now, you might see that there's not a lot of dross on the top of the uh, aluminium. It all tended to stay in. I can also see that there is a small leak in that tray happening already, but uh, might make it fun to get it out, but let's see what happens. It doesn't look too bad or too fast. I'll try and plug it up. I'll just try and scrape the dross off the top before it sets up. Now this is still going to be ridiculously hot so no doubt I'll fumble around with it like a chook on a greasy plate and I'll see if I can knock it out of that tin. Probably won't be easy with all the little holes and bits that it's got to catch on to. See what happens. some ripples in it but um, you know I can machine that down and it's uh, quite a decent casting by the look of it. The beauty of this stuff is it's uh, basically you know, endlessly recyclable. All those little bits that I got that ran out and whatever can all be thrown back in the next slot, so uh, not a waste at all. And uh, I'll get myself a, uh, a better pot that's, uh, or, or tray that's not got so many holes in it. The aluminium does eat through the metal, uh, you know, fairly quickly actually. So, uh, you know, that does happen. Anyway, um, hope you uh, enjoyed that, found it interesting. If you do, uh, please uh, click the like button uh, it does help uh, get my videos seen uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and by all means have a look around at what else is on my channel I get a lot of questions and comments about things that I've already done so just click on the uh, the link there where it says uh, oil burner at the name of the channel and uh, have a look at uh, the other hilarious offerings I've got as always thanks very much for watching